All right, today we're going to in, uh, uh, install uh, the hard drive in our uh, popcorn hour. Um, you'll need a hard drive. Uh, this is actually a 80 gig. Um, you'll need a little adapter uh, that came with the popcorn hour. You'll need uh, the screws that came with it, and then you'll also need a Phillips screwdriver. So to get started, you have to undo the, the thumb screws here. There's four of them on the top. Take the top cover off. If you watched the previous videos, you can see that there's uh, not much to the popcorn hour. Um, take your little adapter. Goes in right here. And basically, all you have to do is uh, slide the hard drive in, and uh, you'll see the IDE cable right here, the IDE connector. You want to slide that in there. Make sure you line up all the pins, and then we'll connect the the power. A little tougher than I thought. All right. Now, take these two side things off of here because you actually have to flip the flip the casing over, and you'll see the uh, the screw holes for the hard drive are right at the bottom. So you use these uh, provided screws, and then you want to tighten them down in here. Go ahead and put all four of them in. Now the hard drive will give you the ability to, to actually store some files on there so you don't have to stream them across your network. Uh, now of course I'm only adding an 80 gigs, so that doesn't give me a lot of room. Uh, I'm more interested in, uh, in BitTorrent. That's all tightened down. Got the power in, it's all connected up. We can slide the side panels back on. We'll go ahead and put the top cover back on, tighten it down. Now we'll go ahead and hook it up. I'm actually hooking this up through my uh, video card on my computer. My girlfriend's watching some TLC marathon or something, I don't really know. Uh, let me uh, bring the camera over to the screen now. Zoom in here. Now I really have uh, uh, really have no idea what it's uh, going to do if it'll uh, prompt to format the hard drive. Uh, there's actually a Windows XP install on it right now. So we'll see what it'll do. There we 
go. Alright, so that's all booted up. You can see slight delay running through the graphics card, but it's not too bad. You go over to media sources, and uh, now you can see that it has hard disk A1 in there. Um, you can also see my org on my home server, uh, my main computer running the new Google media server. Uh, now that's my main computer, and then we got the home server listed on there. So let's just click on the hard drive to see what it'll say. Alright, so it's looking for files, so let's go into setup. Oh, okay, so it's under, uh, under, uh, uh, maintenance. There's, a uh, so you can install the Samba server, Torrent server, UPnP, AV server, and my iHome server. And I will just next this, uh, please select your desired option, uh, of course it already warned me that it's going to erase this. I'm just going to leave all the all the default defaults on here. Fresh setup, uh, remove all the hard disk contents, I don't care about that. So we'll, uh, we'll use online here. I'll agree. And set up in progress. Now this will probably take a few minutes, so uh, probably just stop the camera and then start it back up when it's done and then we can go through all the all the new programs that are on there. So the program finished installing on the hard drive after I formatted it and uh, it rebooted when it was done so it's actually uh, it's still in the process of rebooting right now. Um, and then we'll take a look around and, uh, and see what's changed and see the options for BitTorrent and stuff like that. Alright, so let's take a look what's on the hard disk. Alright, so they have a section here for uh, movies, photos, and uh, videos. Music, photos, and videos, sorry. Alright, let's see if we go to setup and see if anything's changed in here. Yeah, there is now. They have the uh, network media tank applications. So we'll click on that. Take a look around. So we have the device name, Samba work group, and then you have the UPnP AV server, my iHome server, FTP server, Samba server, NFS server, and Torrent. And you can actually just click on uh, on start on these. I just want to fire up the torrent server right now. So that's running and right underneath that we have a uh, torrent settings. Uh, it gives you a port, max download rate, max upload rate, max number of peers. So that's how you get the 
get a hard drive installed in the popcorn hour and uh, a few new applications that you get with it. So, thanks for watching.